Okay, so, hey guys, um, if you have not watched this documentary, don't watch this video. <laughs> don't watch this video um, if you don't want it spoiled. But honestly, what we're going to do is spoil it. It's nasty. <laughs> it's not going to spoil it at all because it is literally something you have to see this is a public to service believe. But if you don't want it spoiled, go watch the link in the description of this video. Go watch. Now, this is an hour 45 minutes long. It's a long documentary. It is part of YouTuber Shane Dawson's new conspiracy series. Uh, Hello, Kitty. Marathon of videos. Go watch it. But if you did just get done watching it with, like um, me and Ryan did, then um, let's have some tea. And let's talk let's, about let's Chuck E. Cheese. Let's also disclaim that this is all just a theory. Right, because I don't want to get sued either. Nothing um, is proven. It is not proven. But. But if your child has been wanting to go to Chuck E. Cheese, and I was literally thinking this the other day, because my first experience at Chuck E. Cheese was when I was four years old for my birthday, and my son's turning four this year. Idiot. So now I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> ever, 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 ever. So, if you are just tuning in and you have not seen this documentary, stop now. Go I'm, watch I'm, it. I'm not eating anything from there. But this is not going to spoil anything. You literally just have to go see to believe. But, and again, this is just a theory. Because I'm not getting sued either. <laughs> but. It's some magic bullshit. In <laughs> language, family friendly the channel. Uh, in in Shane family. Dawson's new documentary, he has a conspiracy theory, just a theory, and it was something he said that he noticed when he was a kid, and, you know, I've only been there once, so I never, you know, I didn't notice it when I was four, but there's actually enough pictures on the internet to show that this was not, like, an edited thing, this was not a one-time occurring thing, but the theory <laughs> is that Chuck E. Cheese recycles, recycles the pizza. pizza. Meaning, if someone orders a whole pie and they don't eat that whole pie, they take the slices that aren't eaten <laughs> and they put them together and they make a new pizza. Except things don't line up. And it's, if you look, I'm again, we're not saying they do this, but it, it, it appears so, yeah. that this is what is going like on. Like they put it on a pan and they sprinkle some more cheese on it and then they put it back in the oven and recook it. It appears. Asterisk. It appears. Huge asterisk. I'm not getting sued for that, libel or that. That is the theory like that. that they put it back in the oven and they cook it so that it appears to be fresh. Only if you look at the actual, and I'm going to pull up some pictures because this is going nuts. My Twitter is blowing up. Everyone is, who has seen this is freaking out because um, it appears when you look at, the pic, at a picture of a pizza that the corners don't match. Like it's not a full circle, there's gaps. And normally when you slice a pizza, you go all the way across the pizza and you go all the way back. Like, we, we've all sliced a pizza. I don't even know why I'm explaining this. Like, everyone has sliced a pizza. You know how you do it. The lines don't match. It's the JFK magic bullet of pizza slicers. Like, and, and I'll, I... Also, there's like missing pieces of pepperoni. There'll be like half a piece of pepperoni and then it'll be absent So, yeah, if you piece. have a whole pizza and you're cutting it all the way across... Then one, two sides, you know, if one has half a slice of pepperoni, where's the other half? It would be on the next slice of pizza, but it's not there. Um, also, trying to pull like, up pictures. There's, there's obvious size differences, and it's... And the documentary was awesome. There's, like, I looked at it. Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, I just put in Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Chuck e just put Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> pizza recycling, and there's already pictures. There's already, because a lot of people have noticed this. You can do this for yourself. Just go on Google. Just go on Google and Chuck look. E. Cheese Or just watch the documentary. Recycling. Go watch the documentary. Because Hit images, and you'll see exactly what. He I'm has doing. images, and they went to a Chuck E. Cheese, and this is a spoiler, but it's not going to ruin it for you, I promise. They went to a Chuck E. Cheese, and they looked, and the pizza that they brought to the table looks recycled. Like, the slices don't match up. There's gaps. Like, the crust, it's not even a full circle. There's, like, a dip in a crust because the slice is too small and it doesn't So, match. like, if, if you ordered, if you ordered, like, two pizzas from, from a delivery service, like Papa John's, Pizza Hut, what have you, 
if you consolidated them in one box, but they're in the refrigerator. Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like. It Only doesn't... it's from like two or three different tables. It's, yeah, except so like two it's or like two or three, three different, different people's pizza. That's what it looks like. Not saying it is. It just highly appears to be that way. Again, this is just a theory. I thought the documentary was great. Um, there's a lot of other. There's a few other conspiracy theories in there. So it's not an hour and forty five minutes of just Chuck E. Cheese. Although that would have been an amazing documentary. I mean, well, stuff he talked about, like the stuff that happened with that girl, wasn't really a conspiracy theory. Uh, it per- was just a really sad, messed up story that really happened. The to dark somebody. side of the Gopnik. Honey, uh, that no, was, that was uh, the dark side of the Gopnik. No, it's it's a warning for dating apps and human trafficking. And Eastern um, Europeans. Okay, I'm trying to find a good picture to show you guys. You have to go watch this documentary, and I don't think I'm ever going to be able to go back to Chuck E. Cheese again. I had, I had a picture to draw. Ever. Nerf. Like, ever. Because that's scary. You go to an establishment thinking, you know, I'm going to be able to order a pizza, but if someone had brought that pizza to my table with the weird slices not <laughs> matching up on it, um, yeah, I would have sent that back. This. This. What kind of magic bullet shit is this? <laughs> yeah, because you can see, like, okay. Like, oh, I can't. Like right but, down, yeah. like right down there, like this. Why what, doesn't the crust what, match? What's the going on? Where, where, where is that pepper? There's no piece gap pepperoni? in the middle, so we don't have pieces of, you know, bits of pizza missing from here. But what is this? And no one knows what that is. Man. Like, That's... why doesn't it match? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. That looks like they took pieces. Of a pie that was not eaten and stuck it together and made a new pie. Um, and Twitter is going nuts right now. And some people are claiming they work at Chuck E. Cheese and they're wondering if they should spill the tea, which I think they should. I'm worried that, you know, maybe they have disclosure sign this stuff saying, you know, hey, don't talk about what goes on in a restaurant or we're going to sue you. But, I mean, my God. If I'd have took my son to Chuck E. Cheese for his birthday like I wanted to, uh, I would have sent that back. First of all, I would have never eaten it. You know, and, and again, I haven't been to Chuck E. Cheese in over 25 years, but... You would have made a scene. Oh, yeah. No, I'd have made a scene. Like, I'd make a scene when the pizza's, like, lukewarm by the time it gets to my house 30 minutes late. I mean, like, I'm just saying. That's the only photo I can find on here, but that one... Yeah. Uh, no. Got one. Okay. So, clearly, this was supposed to be, like, a half-and-half half pizza. Clearly. But look at that there. That looks like, like, this was a hunk that someone left. And then this was a whole other slice from some other pie that, that got shoved in there. Like, the pictures that you can find are pretty damning. There's more in the documentary where it's just like... Bro. I don't know. The pizza they ordered, because they, they order a pizza and... When it hit the table, when it hit the table. As soon as you, it, they put it on the table. When you, you see it. There's something wrong. There's no way you can deny it. There's something wrong with those pizzas. They are, and it was not camera angles. It wasn't heavily edited. It is one shot of them sitting at the table, and those pizzas hit that table, and the looks on their faces, and when you see that pizza yourself, it's just like, they literally took like three and combined it and made a whole pile. And the like thing was, there, there's bad. been there's been a couple employees, and it sounds like they they probably signed some kind of non disclosure agreement, or it could have been put into like a non competition agreement. Um, I'm not I, saying that they did. I'm just saying that could be something that it, happened. Yeah, it, it, it's, this what, this that. what it sounds like. Like they, they they must know, but they must be you know told them that if you do this, we're gonna and we're gonna sue you. And these are mostly kids, you know, in high school, Here's right out of high on. school. This is a minimum wage job. They don't want to deal okay, with that. Explain that. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, that one slice, this little boo boo right here, this one right here. Yeah, then you got the run. Why is it? (laughs) Yeah. Why? Why does none of that match? Look at the pepperoni. Just look at the pepperoni. Like some of it just doesn't quite that part. Match that part came from one pizza, and then that little runt slice came from a totally different pizza, and I think that's actually half of a pepperoni pizza. 
But it's, I mean, yeah, that could be half. I mean, no, because I'm looking at yeah. the pepperoni. Okay, the pepperoni, okay. Pepperoni forensics, pepperoni forensics matchup. But that little thing right that there. That little thing right there is obviously not. What is that? Like, what, what is what, that? If this was part of another half, like if you ordered half pepperoni, half cheese, why wouldn't that match? If you pulled this out and made the crust match, there'd be a gap. So why isn't there a gap? I because can't it's pushed if, in. If, if, so why would if, it need to be pushed in? That if, doesn't make any sense. If someone's doing this, I can't imagine that any health code or any health inspector no. would sign I can off tell on you, this practice. I can tell you from being a server, you cannot even reuse it. Unless you're pouring from a pitcher to a glass sitting on the table, you can't reuse that glass. If you have to take that glass back to the back for like a soda dispenser, you have to get a new glass. You can't reuse the glass. Like... And it varies per state and what kind of establishment it is, but there are rules. There's rules. But there is, there is, there is There's no rules. rules about you putting, like, sand or dryer lint on your leftover pizza on the table so they can't do this shit. Well, I mean, I put, no, there's no rules against that, but if they went on and did it and fed it to somebody, that would just fault. prove that they're recycling the pizza. But I'm terrified now because I really want to take our son to Chuck E. Cheese it, for one of his birthdays because, you know, that's a fun thing kids do. And now I got to worry about <laughs> eating my hour old pizza that was somebody else's who left yeah, on their plate. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like, yeah, it's, it's nasty, yeah. So if you have not watched that documentary, it's an hour 45 minutes long. It's good. Trust me, it is worth it. It is going to make you change the way you think about Chuck E. Cheese. And at this point, um, their Twitter is dead. Like, nobody's went on their Twitter. That was no, the first thing I checked. And they have uh, not it, done anything with their Twitter. If, so they're not if, online. If, they're not responding at this point. But I bet somebody's getting a nasty phone call if, right now. Getting if anyone up, watching like, hey. this video works for uh, Chuck E. Cheese Corporate in their marketing department, I feel so sorry for you tomorrow when you walk into work. Cause I it, mean, there's always, you know, we can give them benefit of the doubt. Maybe the slicers do funny things. You know, I feel like until they release an, release an official statement, I still don't think I'm going to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Like, that was triggering. <laughs> like, I have PTSD from watching this documentary now. Like, <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. I mean, like... Uh, no. <laughs> no. And then there's, theory, more, and then there's a theory pictures. that they sprinkle some cheese and just throw it in the oven for a couple seconds to glue it back together. Like... That's nasty. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, I can't. I can't. You know, we already worry enough, like, as parents, you know, what restaurants are clean and which ones are up to code. And, you know, okay. if the guy washed could, his hands when oh, he made oh, the pizza. Could you imagine if this happened during the Ebola outbreak? Remember when everyone was oh, afraid Jesus that we were going to get Ebola? Well, that was if a real thing. This happened scary. during the Ebola outbreak. That was uh, scary. Yeah. But, I mean, still, I don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. I don't even care if they show me a video of them making a, I mean, because, hell, I can shoot a video inside any restaurant me making a pizza, and you're going to say, oh, shit, yeah, they make fresh pies all the time, but yeah, that well, doesn't prove it, it, anything once, once, once the idea if, 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 is if out they, there. If they know this is the suspicion, they're going to make you a good pizza. Exactly. But if you're just someone that sits down and orders a pizza like any other Joe Smo, and you get this weird Stonehenge... <laughs> JFK bullet pizza. And <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that, that everyone's trying to figure out, well, if you don't recycle it, what magic is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just the fact, and I'm sure he wasn't trying to, like, ruin Chuck E. Cheese or anything, but just the fact that it came out, like, it's really hard to get those images and that idea out of your head that they could be recycling pizza slices. Well, they they showed that, uh, the busboy. He like yeah. he took like everything else and then like checked the pizza and like mm. and looked at it. Let me and go. Was like, let me go mm. check table sixteen. I think I can. Match like he that cleaned one up off over half there. the yeah. table and got rid of like you know plates <coughs> and stuff like that. And then looked at the pizza. It was like half a pizza and then left it. Like I know every restaurant they will come and clean the table off, you know, and maybe bring you extra plates and stuff like that. So you have a clean table when you come back from playing games and you eat. But it was something was weird about it. I mean, maybe it's because I already had the idea in my head that he was gonna take that pizza and go get somebody else. But I'm just saying. Okay, here's so another now, one. So here's now, another one. Is that like an actual commercial? Is that like an actual like? Chuck I don't know. It's branded. It's branded. Oh. It's branded. Yeah. So why don't any of the slime? I mean, when you go to Pizza Hut, 
Papa John's. Yeah, like look, look down. They don't look like that. They don't like, have all those gaps. Look down there. They don't have the gaps and the crust section. Uh, look, look at that! Look at that pepperoni! Like the half pepperonis over there! Like where's the other pepperoni? Yeah, where did he go? Where? Like we need a pepperoni search party. <laughs> to find this pepperoni. <laughs> pepperoni missing over there. I need a pointer. Like there's just something fishy about something ain't quite right. With the pizza. It just doesn't look right. I don't have a point, but they, they, I'm sure they see what I'm talking about. And that's a branded image, so like they even, they even recycled So it. how is it that, I mean, seriously though, like, no, no, no playing around. How is it that Pizza Hut and all these other places can properly cut a pizza and it matches? You can see, like, if you look at this, I'm not sure how well it's going to show up here, but if you look, the slices yeah, the don't match. The cuts the are literally just all over the place. Like, now I've gotten some odd pizzas, you know, delivered or whatever, and you no, know, you, you have like one big hunk and one little like hunk. One big, yeah, but, but there's a line. There there's, there's a, a clear line, line that, that doesn't break, and there's the breaks pizza. like in the middle of the pizza. So are they just using weird pizza cutters? Like that still doesn't really make sense. Because if you've ever tried to cut a pizza and not go all the way across, well, it's going to be jacked where's up. Where's the half of the topping? Because if there's a piece of pe if there's a piece of pepperoni, there's a piece of pepperoni, and it falls in between two slices, it's cut. One and a half pepperoni goes this way, one half goes this way. There's only half of that pepperoni. Yeah. So where's the other piece of pepperoni? Right. It's clearly not stuck to the pan because they bring you the pan. That's what I don't yeah, get. Yeah. So I mean, you have. Unless they don't actually use those pans to cook it on. That's just like a big plate. But that just seems wasteful. Why not just use the pan that you put in the oven, like? Every other pizza place. That doesn't make any sense. I can already see the memes. You know that video? Uh, there's a meme of, oh, I bet you're made of parts, aren't you, kid? Like, um, that's coming. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, if you... If I mean, it wasn't, like, dangerous for someone, I would say someone go get one of these pizzas, eat, like, three slices, and then put, like, a sticker or something weird under every piece of pepperoni and just watch. Just hang out. Play little kid games. Well, the thing is, <laughs> if, if they're actually doing that, that can make somebody really sick. And then you are actually food tampering, even though the, no, they should be tampering. throwing I'm the pieces away. I like, what about the liability yeah. is my pizza, that? they're reselling to somebody. <laughs> it's like double dipping in a okay. chip bowl. Here's like, another you know. one. Here's another one. So explain that. Let me see if I can get it to... The crust doesn't match. Like, what is going on up here? Like this, ah, uh, this here. So what even, is that? Even the pepperoni. Look, this is Yeah, this the is pepperoni multiple. does not match. This is multiple. That's what I'm talking about. Missing pepperoni. Missing pepperoni. This is multiple pizzas. This is more than two pizzas. What is going on with that? Like, I could see if you wanted like half a pepperoni and half a cheese, they would cut half a cheese, put on it, half pepperoni right, put on yeah, it. That, and, and that would be kosher. But... But it's not... So if someone wants to order, like, half pepperoni pizza, whatever, but... But look at... Okay, like, that half a cheese, the crust doesn't match. That's what I'm talking about. All up here, like, argh, there. All up there. Yeah. The crust doesn't match. It should be a perfect yeah, circle. Like, 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 a half circle, but they don't like match. Like, that little, that little piece so, on the edge, like, what is that? Like... It, it doesn't... It looks they're like, all pushed in in the middle, it so there's like no gaps. Put, like, it looks but, like when they put... Pieces. Uh, it looks like it looks like out. they're piecing the pizzas together. That's what I'm saying. Like you that's Google, just what when you go on Google like. Earth and they take different photos, but they're from different seasons of the year, and it doesn't really blend. exactly. That's, what it, that's like. what it looks like. I don't even know like why there was so much cheese on that pepperoni there. It looks like it's missing pepperoni. Like I don't know. I don't know. But if you're considering Chuck E. Cheese birthday party, um. Maybe wait. You may not be the first Maybe person wait. to buy your pizza. That's all. That's all we're saying. <laughs> but that's just a theory. That's a. I'm not getting. And, then, and then go. Like, that's you a know, theory. Is, I wonder if there's like if there's like a standard like all right. So if we recover a pizza, we recover parts of pizza. Is it like when you like reattach a limb? Like all right, we got to get it back on the table in like an hour. <laughs> Or do they, or do they put it like put a cheese injection? Or do they put it like a chirogenic, like <laughs> freezer or something? Like, oh, we'll warm this one up. We're about to be busy in like three hours, so we're gonna we're gonna put out these Frankenstein pizzas. 
And then, you know, they know kids don't give a shit. Kids don't care. <laughs> no, Dude, kids don't care. Bruce, they eat their own buggers. Bruce okay? is like, <laughs> oh, it's pizza. He does not thing like, yeah. wait, there's something wrong with this. No, all that kid thinks is, oh, pizza, 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 And are pizza, you going to take the kid's pizza yeah. away? I dare you go take a piece of pizza away from him right now. He will rip your arm off. Oh, yeah, he'll walk he'll away you. with a nub. Yeah. He'll literally yeah. rip your arm off. Yeah, it's like living with a little wolf. Like... So, on Twitter, all the Chuck E. Cheese employees are coming out. There's a lot of them coming out saying, oh, no, that's, you know, that's not true. I work there. And... But could they just be covering their own behind? Because there was also some other employees saying, you know, I've seen some stuff. And that... It, so... Devil's that, Advocate. I'm sure there's a lot of disgruntled Chuck E. Cheese employees. <laughs> you know what that made me think of? <laughs> and they're like, oh, I can I, I, I fuck with my old boss. Honey, like, gonna... <laughs> family friendly. We're live. Family friendly I, I, content. There's no like eight second delay. Okay. No, so there is. But I can't probably, mute it. There's probably some. I can't make a noise probably, go off. There's probably some like nineteen year old Chuck Cheese boy. They're like, dude, I could become internet famous. <laughs> that just made me think of that mean Burger King foot lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, they got a weird voice. <laughs> Very good. The last thing you want in your burger hammer. is foot lettuce. <laughs> so now we have the Chuck E. Cheese. But seriously, if you are thinking about taking your kid to Chuck E. Cheese, I just wouldn't right now. Um, and if you do go and you get a pizza and it looks kind of... I wonder if they're, like, recycling the drinks. Like, you'd be like, oh. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> but then, you know, that's just a risk that you always take when you go out to any restaurant is they could just be doing things that are... That's why they have health code grade, you know, A+. Plus, yeah, well, they know B, what those guys C, are going through. If, if D, like, don't go in there. If they're like halfway between their like you know food audits, I'm sure they're like. Well, hey. I have worked at pizza restaurants, and have you ever seen a pizza do that? That's... No, no. But I ordered a pizza once when I lived in Colorado. It was my boss's sister's pizza restaurant. Like she owned it, and it was all vegetarian. And when we got it, the vegetables were rotten. Like they were obviously rotten, and they put it on there, cooked it. And we got the last pizza of the night, so by the time I called when I got it, it was yeah, like, dude, closed. this is rotten. They were closed, and everyone closed up, and they went home. And my ex was one that told me that when he worked in pizza restaurant, I had never seen this at the one that I worked at, but he said when it gets so late in the night, when they have those last little bit of vegetables in the bottom of the tin, if they don't clean it out, like, regularly, when they get that last pizza order in, instead of opening up new bags because they don't have enough ingredients, they just scoop what's left in the bottom so that it's empty so they can refill it the next day. Which seems plausible. Like, people could do that. So, now I'm not saying Chuck E. Cheese has done that. I'm just saying I've seen that. I mean, that's happened. And that seemed like a plausible... Yeah, but this isn't... That's not what we're accusing them. Of. We're... The, what, what, what... With the documentary, we're not... Okay, we're, not so we're not accusing anybody. No, anybody. but the documentary we're just, we're is showing... evidence. What, 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 it, what it appears that they're not doing that. that no, they're, they're just piecing together that pizza that recycling. was served to someone else before and they didn't eat it. Yeah, you're getting a certified pre-owned pizza. So Congratulations. Oh, I mean, you saved a whole bunch even of if they out. come out with like an official You saved a whole statement. bunch of money on your diet plan by switching to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> even if they come out with an official statement saying, hey, you know, we don't do that. It's a weird pizza slicer, you know, whatever. Especially, you're getting a, there's a possibility you're getting a used pizza at, like, a kid's place. So, this kid, like, had his hand up his nose, down his pants. <laughs> they're sneezing, they're coughing. They're sneezing, we all know kids, all are, kids are disgusting. Like, Thoughts hand, are like, disgusting. You know, two knuckles deep in their ear, and then, you know. Like, <laughs> they pull one of these and wipe their face and then all over the pizza. We've all ate after our toddlers. You know, when it's your own toddler, it's one thing. It's God knows who's toddler. It's different but i think you just kind of have to be careful when you go out to restaurants especially taking your kids like just look at the food and if it doesn't look right you don't have to buy it you don't have to pay for it you can ask for your money back and have them remake it or you can I, just i, I honestly it. no I, I would i would want to talk to a manager and i hate being the you have because the, the, i'm that person yeah and, i'm and the you do have a wig that says i want to talk to the manager. yeah it i have the short the, hair i want to talk to your manager i demand parlay with a ceo <laughs> and uh <laughs> It's not a rule. It's more of a guideline. No, no I'll I, always I would, do you know, it politely. I want to talk to the manager and then have them just please explain this to me. Like, yeah, because this looks weird. You're a you're a pizza expert. It's, you probably went to pizza school. 
Explain this to me. Bye. <laughs> I just find it odd that it wasn't just Shane Dawson's like evidence, but a lot of people have noticed this that the pizzas look pieced together like they're recycled pieces off other people's plates. So if it looks funky, don't eat it. Um, after watching this, I don't think I can go back to Chuck E. Cheese ever again. I feel really bad because one day I'm going to have to explain to my son, well, honey, um, well, <laughs> they might have got that pizza out the garbage. Well, so no. <laughs> you know, he, he, Chuck E. Cheese may, may be no more. Yeah, they could actually be is, no more after this. This is, uh, um, that's, that's bad. And, you know, as parents, you just got to be diligent. You just got to, you know, pay attention to health codes. Um, don't Honestly, that, don't like. buy stuff from people who like make food in their home and try to sell it because they're not regulated. They don't have health codes. They don't have health inspectors and stuff like that. Um, you know, even carnivals and fairs, sometimes it's just not. The regulations just aren't there and people are nasty and you just have to be careful. So it's, I kind of hope it's not true for Chuck E. Cheese, but I don't really think after watching that I could ever trust it again. Like, because if I got a pizza that looked all pieced together like that, I couldn't eat it. Like, I've just, I've never seen a pizza, like, literally pieced together like that. So, yeah. Go watch that documentary. Um, it's really, really good. And I honestly can't wait to see what happens on, uh, or I'll be watching Twitter all night to see if, if Chuck E. Cheese ever responds. No, they've gone home for the day. I'm sure their corporate office. I'm sure. I'm sure. Someone's getting woke up right now. Well, though. no, the people that, I mean, maybe someone that works in marketing, but then again, you know. They may, just, the computer. I'm, uh, they may just be like, you know what? I'm going to have me a good, you know, I'm going to have a drink or seven tonight. And then I'm going to go to work in the morning and deal with bullshit. Yeah. Um, sorry. Crash and if, if, and yeah, uh, please. <laughs> but if you just want to see, here's another one. My pizza came in a hole, but I still don't trust Chuck E. Cheese. And there's half their pizza. Looks pretty decent. Okay. But still, like, just with that idea of, it, is it possible they could be doing this? It makes me not want to eat it. And I'm sure that wasn't his, like, real intention. Because even he said at the beginning, you know, this is probably fake. Like, you know. But I'm telling you, just, if you're going to watch it all, watch at least until they go to Chuck E. Cheese and those pizzas hit the table. And you tell me what you think when you see that. Yeah, That's all I'm going to say. We're, we're being a Hey, Chuck E. Cheese marketing team, have a great Tuesday. You Bye. wish it was Monday. <laughs> oh, so Monday was <laughs> go watch it. Link down there in the description. If you like this video, please follow this Facebook page for more shenanigans and maybe we can get someone to stop cursing. And if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time there's a new video. And Hashtag we'll see y'all later. Magic bullet pizza. Oh my god. Let's not make that a thing. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>